Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Steve here. Man, the old wheel repairs really made this Poo Land push mower enjoyable to use. Man, I never did uh, do anything about the handle on this push mower. You know, once my back got to hurt and I decided to just pull it rather than push it. Now, the problem with pushing, pulling a push mower is, you know, when you're pushing it, the grass gets cut and discharged. But when you're pulling it, the grass gets cut and it gets carried all the way around here before it gets discharged. Doesn't disperse it properly on your yard. And it also bogs down this engine. Now I can guarantee you, even if I fix this handle and made my back feel better pushing this lawnmower, there's going to be times when I pull it. So what this lawnmower really needs is one more discharge chute right here. Before I go cutting a giant hole in there and having somebody say, Dummy, the deck busted because you cut a big hole in it. Let me show you what happens to these push mowers, these cheap old poo lands anyways, when you try to go forward constantly. So you got to pick up the wheels and steer it. Look at the deck. You see it's flexing already before I ever cut a hole in it. So let's just go ahead and cut a hole in there. We'll reinforce it later. We ought to right now, but we'll reinforce it later. And let's add another discharge chute to this lawnmower. Man, I got kind of a hole hacked in the old dude here. It didn't cry too bad when I was doing it, but... Either way, I guess, you know, you might want to put some paint on it. You might want to dust it up a little bit in case you stick your hand in here for some reason. You don't want to get cut. I think mowing the yard will do it for you eventually, but uh, let's make it look good. I don't know about you, but I think it looks pretty good. Man, I watch these guys on YouTube, Cold War Motors. Man, I'd have never been able to do this the way that it worked out. It's really worked out well, and it's only because I watch them guys. The way they do it with this tape. Old Scott there. Hey, thanks, buddy. Man, what do you say we use the same thing we did here to open and close this one? When we're push mowing, we'll take this extra string I left on here. We'll run it down here to the other bolt on this cover. And then we'll come out here with a little bracket. And when we're pulling, we'll pull on this string and open that door. Man, I got old dude all assembled. Got a little bracket attached to him there. And I was thinking, you know, I'm pushing this lawnmower. Everything's normal. You know, I got this little rope on here to operate the discharge chute. You know, when things get full, you're getting some tall grass. But when I went backwards, I could pull on this side of it and open that door. But the spring on that door is twice as strong as the spring on this door. So what's happening is when I pull on it to go backwards... I'm opening that one up. I think what I need to do is uh, I'm going to tie a knot in this string right here so that when I pull on this, that rope can't go inside that little pulley right there. And then this will be the only one I open up. Let's see if that works. Man, I replaced all that stuff with one of these little worm clamps and... Uh, but I got to stop for a minute because this handle done pissed me off. I got the welder right there. We're going to put this thing to rest forever. You know, normally, 
I keep my emotions in check. But this handle's been here the whole time. Been here since the days I put the weed eater on it. It lived through the deck repair. It's seen what I did with this wheel. And these wheels. You'd think that thing would be aware that uh, you better start behaving because dude's about to take care of business. So I got the welder out here. And you're never going to upset me again. Let's get it done. Man, I almost forgot. Let's talk about the integrity of this deck here for a minute. You can tell I've already welded the old dude up one time right there. Right there. This is factory quality right here on the old poo land. I'm trying to pick up the front wheels. See what's happening? Let's go check out what I did. About the same. Man, while we're down here, let's go ahead and get, make a welder laugh. If that one didn't do it, this one might. Alright, quit that goofing around. I'm all done goofing around. We're going to go mow some grass now. But you know, uh, we're over here with our adjustable discharge chute when you're pushing. The handle is nice and tight now. When we're pulling it, we'll just grab old rope right here. And uh, pull him up in the corner, open the door, and go backwards. When we go forward, we'll let go. And if need be, we can always do this. But going backwards, we'll always go like this. Going forward, we got this guy. Let's see how it works. Alright, I got old dude gassed up and ready to go. Let's see how it happens here. Oh, she's thirsty. bit of a learning curve but uh there ain't no doubt about it no more bogging down when you're going backwards with the old pulling poo land 
All right. I got to do some serious mowing for a while, so I'm not going to bring you guys along with me. But hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope I didn't bore you too bad. I don't know if you ever need to do something like this silly nonsense, but hey, something to do on a day off. All right. Thanks for giving me somebody to talk to. I'm gone.